that this current administration wants to kill the revolution, Kirango, a lot of things they're doing, they are killing the revolution. By denying counties funds, you're killing the revolution. By saying that you must be close to the government to get development, you're killing the revolution. They want to kill political parties. That is why after a party has sponsored a candidate to be a member of parliament for bond and is holding on to the ticket of the party called ODM, and then he goes into parliament and supports the party in power. That is killing political parties. Thirdly, giving false promises. The government of Ruto said that when they come to power, there will be no debt and no taxes. Sanikuru Ruto was in the country and he was in the country. And he was in the country and he was in the country. And he was in the country. I don't know whether you knew we were going to talk about this because you say a good name. I don't know whether Zakayo is a good name. <laughs> <laughs> the church also, I, I want to plead with you. When political leaders cling on the church, this is what we must watch. If you look at many countries where we had political problems, be it Rwanda, be it Congo, be it in Latin America, you have political leaders leaning to the church and being holier than the, whole, the holiest. And they carry Bibles in their hands. And even when it rains, they say they are prayed for rain to come. <laughs> and when floods come, there should be a counter prayer for floods to go. <laughs> please, please, please. Let us not have the Rwandan situation where Today, if you go to Rwanda, most of those cows, you find them in cathedrals where they are being kept for memories. Because we had church leaders who were working with the dictatorships in Rwanda to molest the people. But I'm not talking about the Baptist church. I'm not talking about my church, the Anglican church. I'm not talking about the Catholic church. I'm just saying that it is wrong to use religion as a weapon to advance political objectives. It, it is wrong. But when Kaisari comes to the pulpit and the, 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 the clergyman is sitting listening to Kaisari giving a sermon, yeah? and be very, very careful about political leaders who try to cite the memory, we must be very aware that they continue to be a danger to our lives and I want to thank you, Prime Minister and our pre President. When you're talking about climate change, when you went to Paris many years ago, this issue of environment and climate change, people are taking it as a joke. But you started talking about it at that time. Climate change is with us. The lake is filling up. There's a, now that we're having floods, is a twin problem. The rains in the lake, Victoria Basin, from the North Rift and with the water running down from River Yala, River Zoya, and the backflow from the lake itself is causing havoc. And here in Yimbo, Uloanganinti, Jomwa Pio Sedaro, Jomoko Oka Ute Usenge, Moko Wangarot, Moko Honge, and these rains are going to go on until June. But I want to promise you, no, we will be close to you. We'll try the best that we can. But we'll not do it only through prayer. We'll do it by looking after you, trying to bring food stuff and clothing and medicine. 